Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the adventures of Ron the Snake, who the last time has fought quite a bit in and around uh, Solitude. We finished everything with the exception of Ford Herakstad and uh, that is exactly where this episode will start. Afterwards, I figured we will transition into a bit more... Uh, higher level content carefully though uh, with our initial uh, resistance to poison we might be able to do forsworn there's a forsworn camp nearby which i would at least like to test out and see if we can do it afterwards there are quite a few options for us really uh, maybe getting one or two more bounties and then leveling up. I would like to be between six, seven and uh, start a few more quests. Maybe we go to, you know what, by thinking about it, maybe we go to Solstein because there are a couple of really interesting uh, digging up quests. And for someone like Ron, uh, who is a pirate at heart and a weasel, that would be a good uh, place to start. So now we can do that before then ultimately starting the Drag Brotherhood quest. So before all of that happens, we need to survive this camp first and foremost. So let's get going. I think the last time we entered this side. So let's just double check everything. We poisoned all of our weapons, got some new bolts. And yeah, we still got a ring that doesn't really help us and our armor is pathetic as well but i crafted us a few potions so we should be fine mammoth stake is running everything is going well so off we go i think we aggroed uh, him right away Not a good start. Could have dodged that much better. Okay, let's go back to our true and tried, uh, true and tried uh, technique of uh, shooting once, then asking questions later. Fantastic, that looks like a great loot. Yeah, no one seems to be in the cells. Unfortunately, this seems to be a dead end. I wonder... In terms of potions... Let's try one of these. The other entrance was the one where we aggroed them, so I'm a bit reluctant in going in there. It was way too little room for us to maneuver. And they were not coming out. So is there an entrance up here maybe? Yeah, not really. So we pretty much got one entrance left, which is this one. I guess we can give it a sneak peek. Okay, no one here. That, on the other hand, is surprising. At least two enemies, though. Oh. 
we somehow need to fight in this small corridors. Alright, the one goes down with a poison. His friend somehow fails to overcome this simple barrier here. I want to waste my bolts. Poison really adds up, I like it. Good, and finally he's down. Couple of inside potions that will help us with leveling. What else do we have? I'm just double checking. Of course, of course, both of our weapons are no longer poisoned. Taking the strongest one on our crossbow. Then switching over here and put another poison on there. Okay, Adept, we can't open this. Remarkable healing potion, that's fantastic. That is really helpful. Well, and other than that, it seems there's really not much we can take from here. Of course, a bit of food that will be helpful for us. Yeah. So relatively speaking uneventful i was hoping for a bit more action and a larger fort but that was the start for today's episode uh, let's find something to do solstein is one option the uh, the the higher level content is another one i'll think about it right we got a master plan i prepared a couple of things number one quick stop to Riften. Just drove here. We need uh, the ring for more stamina regeneration. I traveled to Whiterun not only to grab some alchemical gear, but also to get a bounty. This here is uh, the cave where all of uh, the red uh, guards are. The southerners that are looking for the red guard to a woman. There is plenty of good gear in here, so we definitely would want to do that. And I started uh, the quest with uh, the um, black, uh, the meat, uh, what was it called? Missing in action, exactly. Uh, Grey main quest line. Uh, mainly because there is um, a nice prison up here, and since we're questing in and around uh, Solitude, I felt we wanted to go there and uh, pay back to some of the farmers. But before we do that, uh, let's get a quick bounty. Um, maybe we can do the Shrouded Grove uh, as well. And first and foremost, let's do Rift. And so really a couple of uh, quick run-ins to get equipment here and there. Uh, this here should be relatively straightforward. Oh, okay. One more thing. I checked uh, the vendors and... At the Skyforge, guess who had Ayla's shield? Damn right, it hasn't a lot of value. I think it's uh, it's a mistake in FPS uh, in 3BF tweaks. But since we're not joining the companions, might as well buy the shield, and uh, that will give us a solid armor for now because we're not dual wielding. That being said, let's jump in and uh, get the ring real quick. 
We got poisons running. We got uh, the major buffs running. Good. So that takes care of one of the problems. You're making me angry. That was a mistake. And there we go. Cool. Potion of lock picking. He had orcish arrows. What? You're not going to come up here? Good. One more. And we should be good to go. Good, fantastic. Thanks, Gian. We needed a ring and stamina regeneration is just too good to not take it. Great, we could even sleep here, which we don't need to do. There are a couple more traps. There we go, battle axe. I think there was a skill book up here. Could have sworn that there was a skill book. Oh yeah, missed that lever. Okay, cool. So we got ourselves a nice little ring. 50% uh, quicker stamina regeneration. And I wonder, I thought the Rebf tweaks has fixed it and made it only 20%. I might have been wrong. Very quick attack speed. I can punish with the combination now. If, uh, if I do have the stamina, I could actually like uh hit twice this year that's pretty damn fast okay next stop i think we are going to go to renor's retreat okay a man of word we are at reverend's retreat and it's time for some more bandits to die besides there is some really nice alchemical stuff out here. I like White Run for that uh, sole reason. It never ceases to amaze me just how much you can gather as an alchemist. Double checking, our crossbow is still poisoned. Yes, it is. He was trying to hit us. That was another miss. That was a solid hit.
We only have a few orcish bolts, so might as well make use of them. Repoisoning the weapon. Yeah, I'm trying to. I heard something. It's nothing. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. Good, we have two bandits here. right into that he's one of those uh, short and board guys who love to just block that's okay Good, so besides the one power attack that we stupidly ate, the rest was actually quite good. That's an upgrade to our armor. He's heavy armor. Yeah, just a very slight upgrade. Apprentice. Uh, I purchased one master key. That was unfortunately not really worth it. We still have a scroll of knock, if I'm not mistaken, for larger chests. But I think this here should be it. Got a treasure map and quite a few lockpicks. Slight sneak increase and we could theoretically rest here, but I would want to go on and do the other dungeons as long as the buffs are still running. Okay, easy bounty. It was, however, not the dungeon that I was expecting with red guards. So we'll do that right away. I'll just quickly store the uh, ingredients and we'll get to the next location. Good. We are at the next location. We do have Swindler's Den, where the Red Guards are hiding out. We are buffed up. We have uh, prepared everything. Weapons are poisoned, so let's rock and roll. Limited amount of orcish bolts. Might as well start with the steel bolts, rather. Oh, walk right into that. That was stupid. That's the problem with uh, essentially having the crossbow uh, bow out. If they come to close, weapon switching just takes too long. Yeah. 
Not the best shots, but... Okay, at least we can melee them here. Got that one hit off. Annoying. I could have maybe blocked it uh, with a shield. I'll loot the dungeon once we're through. Reapplying poison. And healing up. kidding me they're just standing there okay dude you can just run up and try to kill me at least quite a few bandits back there so I won't just charge in they don't want to charge me. This is a free path. I have no idea what prevents them from doing so. Alright, bring it on. Double hit. We got a staff of lightning sparks. Okay, they're going back and forth. Can't go in. Not like that. Good. She did not get a shot off. Too dangerous to play around corners uh, with a crossbow. Come on. Idea where they are continuing to run away. Trying to fight that fair and square. She had steel bolts, that's good. Much needed. There's someone behind us? No. Can't be. Time for you to die. Sounds like someone's up there.
Definitely sounds like someone's either in the walls. I'm 100% sure we have not left left out any of them. Maybe someone got some of them got stuck. Double checking the poison status. Of course, none of our weapons are poisoned. Yourself, thank you. Good, we do have a few extra bolts. Iron bolts of ice. And those can come in handy when we're fighting the Red Guards. Skill book. Just reading that real quick. Time for you to die. Can definitely hear someone from behind me. Wait a second. Elven great sword, well made. I think that's a solid upgrade for us. But before we take it, let's double check that there are no enemies here. Pretty sure I killed one up here. Oh, they fell down. All right, let me loot up. Uh... They had elven bolts. Holy shit, that would have hurt. And I think that might be another upgrade. Need to double check. Some of the armor might be an upgrade. So let me do all of uh, the looting and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we looted the entire dungeon. I think it's not a bad idea. Oh, I need to cure myself from rock joint. It's not a bad idea to level up some skills. What would we need? I think getting blocked to 25 isn't bad. We definitely wanted alchemy at 25. I think that's as many points as we do have. Evasion, next up dexterity. Just getting a lot of the skills to the bare minimum where we can put perks into them. More hit points. Stamina wise I've feel we're fine at the moment we need to be more tanky many of those shots are just absolutely devastating so we wanted to go for increased attack speed we could go for sword specialization right away the other option is Power attacks do more damage. That would be super helpful. 
or alchemy 25 concentrated poisons and I think that's where we're going getting the poison perk next so that our, that our poisons are actually starting to dish out more damage This is typically where the red guards are standing, but I think they haven't spawned yet. Maybe we weren't high enough level. Amulet of Mystical Dawn. Okay, nice. Got a few good items off of this. I mean, overall, it was still a helpful and good dungeon. It would have been even better if we could have confronted the red guards here. We will do that the next time. Finally, found that last enemy. somehow bucked he just moves into me oh I know what the problem is he is an Argonian and is such immune against poison or highly resistant okay fair enough Good. Gotta be careful. Those guys could actually mess up our routine. Repoisoning weapons as always. And I soon need to create new poisons, but for now we're fine. Good, that's the end of this uh, short episode in Dungeon. Next up, I will actually create a few poisons and we would be going, that would be an option. It's a great fight for us. That would be an option. Both of them actually work well. And here we would get a one-handed sword that uh, someone in White to Run is looking for. So maybe Valheim Tower into Shrouded Grove. And then the next time we're going to do the Thalmor. Thalmors are a bit iffy. And I believe we maybe have too little hit points yet to withstand the magic attacks. All right, see you in a bit. Next stop in our adventure is something that I had just found in our inventory because look at that, we got a treasure map. So south of Whiterun, uh, there is a ledge to be more precise. Said ledge is up here. You go all the way around here and uh, then end up next to a chest. And that looks pretty good. Refined Moonstone is valuable. Cool. Next up, we're going to do Elsie. And she needs to unfortunately die in order to give us the one hand weapon. And then if we still have time, we're going to do Shrouded Grove. Hey, so we are not with Elsie, we are instead at the Northwatch Keep and are helping to rescue the brother of Avulstein, Greymane. 
It's not going to be an easy task. Specifically due to the absolute carnage amount of damage that uh, the Thalmor are doing via magic. Every single one of them is magically active. And for us, that means we're taking that and that. All right, let's rush to our friends. And work together with them. On the flip side, I think we just found ourselves a nice little up great because if i'm not mistaken every single item here should be better than ours much lighter so much lighter a little bit less armor value but we're getting a lot of uh, mobility and with that stamina out of it. You gotta be careful. I don't want uh, to fight all of the archers. kill some of them but use that hill here to our advantage okay well they are overrun apparently Talking about being the coward in the back hey, watch it. who just uh, loots. I've killed two of them at least. That elven sword might come in handy. Okay, weapons. We need poison on our main weapon. But with these two clowns, I think stealth is not an option. Oh, wait. A mage. Not a good idea. Let's go for this guy first. As long as someone else can take a few hits, that's great, because it's not us. We're missing out on experience because we can't kill them all, but that's fine. It is still an enjoyable to go not completely alone but work together with them and the loot is fantastic. We got a full armor upgrade. I think we might want to take different bolts here. Picking the strongest ones that we do have in order to really make an impact. If they kill them, we're not getting any credit. But we killed two. So that's fine. Easier than I would have expected with the help of them. 
great uh, arrows, but unfortunately we don't need any arrow. We need bolts. Sure, I killed her, but okay, whatever. Is someone there? What was that? The mage just ran right into melee combat, hand to hand. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's fitting. The elves are not using a single crossbow. Let's not cluster up. Those arrows really pick a, a pack a punch. Yeah, and poor Vildralt uh, has learned that the hard way. I think the Elven Sword, with all due respect, is still worse than the Dwarven Sword. Uh, sword. The scimitar, if we want a really fast weapon, would be faster. One I'm holding on to that. Ooh, our first magical sword. Life leech, that is great. This is good as well. I'll get it a bit later. I think 15 weight is a bit too much. major upgrade uh, messed up the grouping give me a sec Okay, here we go. Finally got the grouping right again. I like the UI, but sometimes the grouping is a bit off. Well, that is interesting. Where is our target? Where's your brother, dude? Supposed to be here. to find his brother one way or the other.
Okay, let me fix that brother problem. Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. Good. I needed to fiddle a bit with all of the different quest steps, but at the end we could rescue his brother. Got us just a steel forge, a battle axe, which we unfortunately don't need. But we also got a few potions of insight. Let's see. So we got the northwest uh, uh, north north watch keep clear. This one here is potentially still out of reach. I mean, there's a spriggan, and I don't know how to kill him. We don't want to do that. I'll think about what exactly we want to do the next time. There are a few prospects, maybe. Getting a silver weapon and doing a first dungeon would be an option. Maybe we're questing around Windhelm. Or going to Solstein. That definitely would be an option as well. I need to look up what kind of uh, one-handed weapon we would uh, want to get. But before we end today's episode, as always, let's do the increasing of skills at the end of the day. So, I think Dexterity 225 is a good idea. At the moment we want levels and we want the respective skills so that we can get initial perks in them. And everything below 25 is always a nice way of just getting it, uh, getting it there. Okay, and I think... I noticed we're doing some sneaking, I mean not major parts of sneaking, right, but some sneaking, so I'll be gentle and give us some sneak as well. Leveling up. Some more health. And we finally get the poison perk that we wanted. That will increase our uh, hits uh, per poison with 1 plus 2% uh, times alchemy skill. So at the moment uh, we are 1.5. Uh, with 50 alchemy skill we would be at uh, 2 hits. And uh, with 100 we would be multiplying it. Oh, it's multiplicatively. So at 50 we would multiply by 2. At 100 we would multiply by 3. That is not bad because it finally allows us to have the poisons up longer. Our poisons are 15% better, isn't bad either, so we might want to get that. But before we do any of it, I think the alchemy tree as is is fine uh, for now. We might want to start getting uh, precise strikes up.
for quicker attacks. Evasion would be good for more attack uh, with the uh, power attack. And definitely since we are going sword focused, let's uh, go with that armor penetration attack speed. That makes sense. Yeah, we're not charging often. Most of the time we're powerful striking. So powerful strike, 51 hand is could be an, uh, the next target for us. So I would say we're getting sneak to 25 and then it's uh, one handed to 51st. Evasion eventually to 50 as well because evasion is re becomes really good after post 50. Um, alchemy definitely could be another strong contender to get to 50. So the build so far works out well. What we're going to do the next time likely is start the Dark Brotherhood quest because with level 7 I would say we're yeah, we're somewhere there. Uh, would uh, yield us a nice little armor upgrade uh, if we join them. So let me maybe do that the next time. Anyways, for now, we're at the end of uh, today's episode. If uh, you want to join the Dark Brotherhood as well, then the only way of doing this is knocking at the door and clicking a thumbs up, not, uh, not saying silence brother, but clicking the thumbs up. Uh, that will help the channel and grow the Dark Brotherhood in return. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.